Hey guys, welcome to Peripheral Vision, and today we're taking a look at the Super Advantage by ASCIIWare for the Super Nintendo. Alright, so the Super Advantage is an arcade stick for the Super Nintendo, and as the name suggests, it has a lot of things in common with its predecessor, the NES Advantage. Let's push that to the side for a second and bring this up for comparison. Now, the main difference between these two is that the NES Advantage is actually a first-party Nintendo controller, and the Super Advantage is a third-party from ASCIIWare. So that's one of the big differences. But aside from that, they are very similar. They have big buttons. They're both very much modeled after the system they're connected to. So the NES Advantage looks a lot like an NES, and the Super Advantage looks a lot like a Super Nintendo. And that's really where the similarities and differences are with these two. Let's take it down. Now, as I said, the Super Advantage has a lot in common with the system that it's attached to. You can see that there's these purple things up here that look a lot like the power and reset things for the Super Nintendo. And there's the colors which match a Super Famicom's color scheme. And I like it. I always love when a controller really gels with its console, especially when third parties make the efforts to do so. And Super Advantage really does that. This is a good looking controller. As far as other advantages to this advantage, we have a ton of turbo functionality. In fact, the most I've ever seen on pretty much any controller. As you can see, up in the corner, all of the main buttons, A, B, X, Y, R, and L, have turbo triggers, which can be set to turbo, which you press the button to have it rapid fire, and auto, where it automatically rapid fires. But that's not all. Above that, you can see these sliders. And what they do is, for example, let's say you had the Y button on auto. This slider would slide the amount of auto fire you get. So if it's all the way on the right, it would be firing as rapidly as possible. It would just be like, bu -bu 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 -bu. and if it was lower on the slide, all the way at the bottom, it would just be tapping it. So these sliders control how much auto fire, how rapidly the button fires with these triggers. So that's a neat addition. Go towards the middle and you can see there is a slow button and if you depress that the game will pause rapidly to simulate slow motion and even even the slow trigger has a slider so that that's really cool. This thing has a lot of options for that. And then we have the joystick. The joystick now here's Here's where some of the problems are. The turbo, all the turbo functions work fine, and the sliders work fine, and everything, even even with age, this thing still works as far as the turbo triggers and all that. However, the buttons and the joystick are actually where it falters in some pretty noticeable ways. So, over on the button side, actually, the buttons are okay, but the problem is that a lot of times, if you hit a button, the edge of it, let me pull it up, the edge of it will get caught inside the controller like this. And that's super easy to do. That's way easier than it should be to do. So when you're in the middle of the game, suddenly your Y button stops working because it's depressed. So you kind of you kind of get screwed over a lot with this. And it happens with all the face buttons. So every single one of these, it, it really has an issue with. So that's something that's, that's a glaring issue. That affected every game that I used this controller for. So fighting games, platforming, racing, all of them had issues because of that button sticking. Another thing with the buttons is their arrangement. Now, if this was supposed to be going for a fighting game vibe, the answer was simple. Just have Y, B, X, A, and then L, R, and have the L and R buttons up here in the corner, because that's the way a fight pad would be set up, so that the, the punch and the kick, or whatever setup it was, would be the most effective. But instead, they've got this wonky setup, where the L and R are like here, so it doesn't really work from a fighting game perspective. Now, speaking of fighting game perspective, this joystick is kind of functional at best. It's not what I would call good or excellent or any any superlative. It's it's just kind of average. And I played a number of fighting games, Street Fighter, Killer Instinct, and pulling off special moves was a, 
kind of a super hassle with the super advantage and that 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 shouldn't be so there's another strike against you super advantage and that's pretty much everything there is about this controller i wish it was better but there are a lot of glaring issues the button stick the joystick is average at best and really the best thing it has going for it is a really nice full turbo options and that's not enough to carry a controller but i will say it looks great it looks like a really cool piece and i'd put it on my shelf in fact i do it's one of my favorite shelf pieces but as a controller to use, there's better arcade sticks out there for the console. Later days.